All right, guys. So I just wanted to touch on the programming software as well while we're here. Um, when you first start it up, it has this nice big menu. Um, kind of, you can kind of choose which section you want to go into. Uh, keeping in mind that you can pretty much uh, change every setting uh, in the radio and read the data logs, um, write the data. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pop open my current file that I have already. So it should populate. There it goes. So as you can see, I got a bunch of frequencies already lined up. Um, already down the, the file here. So one thing I will mention that you will need to do is click on this file right here. And you will need to click on channel edit. Why we may need to do this when you're editing your channels? Well, simply because um, you may need to plug in a tone for that um, repeater, which is done right over here just by clicking on that and selecting tone. Then you can put the tone in the column. So it is a little bit of an extra step that you do have to do. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but hey, free programming software, saving yourself $50. Well, you really can't beat that. So you can go in here and easily just find whatever you need. So you can go VFO mode, you can go to DTMF memory. Um, you can save your IRLP nodes in there uh, if you wish. I haven't messed with the Echo Link myself yet. Um, I played with it on my phone a little bit, but nothing really um, on here at all. So can't really tell you too much about that. But then I can, you know, go in here and go into, like, the settings of the program. Um, let me get back to the APRS stuff. So if I go into menu and just click on APRS really quick right there, it's going to load up my APRS menu. I got a million things open on my computer, so it's taking a little bit longer. So it's going to pop open the APRS menu, and you can make all kinds of changes to your call sign um, and all the algorithms, just tons and tons of uh, options that you could do as far as that goes, um, even including programming a few GPS coordinates in here if you wish to do that as well. So you can even put your status texts in here and whatnot. Um, if you wish to do that so you can put all those in there and you can just select which one you want to use when the radio comes on uh, you can also set up your digipeter in here just everything that you'd want to do um, you could do in here as well as set up your smart beaconing as well so I actually you know besides the little quirk with the with the tone having to write having to click on it and uh, go into the tone besides that um, I'm very happy with the programming software. It does everything I need it to do and then some. Also not to mention that you can also create a custom sign-on uh, screen, which you've seen on my radio. Um, you can do that in Microsoft's Paint. Just do a quick little uh, BMP image and it has to be um, the specific size, um, otherwise it will not work. I believe it was 150 by 46 or 48. Um, you can easily open up the file and take a look at it for yourself and, and whatnot. Or if you need help, maybe just drop me a message on YouTube and I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and conclude my review for Kenwood's THD72A. Thanks for watching.